viewers, once again it's me, Ewed Wanomran, from It Pays to Fear God. This is where we learn about God, His beloved Son, Jesus Christ, and their kingdom purpose, the three most important subjects that we can ever learn about, talk about, or discuss in the entire Holy Bible according to John chapter 17, verse 3. This is another episode of Verse Breakdown, and the verse that I feel like explaining to you viewers today is Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, where St. Paul had stated, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. The most important part of what St. Paul said in this verse is, Be careful for nothing because many people they are very worried about things that happen in this world society generally around them they're always very worried sometimes it can be important but many times it's not and the bible tells us that we shouldn't be worrying about things generally we should cast our cares upon God, for he cares for us. If we read Psalm chapter 55, verse 22, First Peter chapter 5, verse 7, Psalm chapter 37, verse 1, verses 7 and 8, and many other places all over the Bible, especially if we read the Psalms, it tell us, tells us this. And Jesus Christ had also said in Matthew chapter 6, from verses 25 to 32, that just as how the birds and the bees, they're not worrying about what they're going to have. For the next meal they let the next day come then once that day comes they say okay another day then they go look for whatever food they're adapted to eat but humans were trying to save up there's so much in inequality you know in the sense of people are having billions others are feeding on a dollar and stuff and everybody's just getting worried and worried and worried but jesus christ said animals who we are supposed to be leading are kind of better than us in that sense. We shouldn't be worried about stuff. Moses had told the Israelites this in Exodus chapter 14 and chapter 20, when everybody was getting worried when they were seeing the Egyptians in chapter 20 with the mountain smoking, Moses was telling them, don't fear what's happening. But of course, fear God, which is respect God and keep his commandments. If we read Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verses 13 and 14, and many other places all over the Bible. An example of somebody who was being careful for some things instead of being careful for nothing was King Zedekiah. Because even though Jeremiah had told him, don't worry, just submit yourself to Nebuchadnezzar. Everything's going to be fine. Instead, because of whatever worries that he might have had, he decided that, still, I'm going to go, I'm going to flee, essentially, because he was worried about what would happen. Even though Jeremiah had assured him, nothing will happen. And in Jeremiah chapter 42, the people there, they did the same thing. They went to Egypt because it was a land that they thought would have no war and stuff because they were afraid of what would happen. Even though Jeremiah had assured them, God is going to protect you. We shouldn't be worrying about those kinds of things, but we should let our requests be made known unto God, giving thanks for what God has already done and is doing in our time. Celebrating the spiritual feast of tabernacles, if we read Zechariah chapter 14, from verses 16 to 19, because there are many things God has done. He has so far got into progress of glorifying his children as the words of his children are now coming to pass, and therefore we should celebrate such things. If we read Revelation chapter 19 from verses 1 to 5, etc. Because the nations are being angered, but God is still taking over what they are doing. If we read Revelation chapter 11 and verses 17 and 18. And I choose to end my talk on discussing the verse Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, which once again states, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something most importantly. Please try to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell and share this video to people who have read the saying, be careful for nothing. And I've wondered what St. Paul really meant by that. Thank you for listening.